today I want to tell you about an update that is free and you can try it out right now. It's the tutorial on art mediums. Hello and welcome back to my studio. I'm Retro and Today, like I said, you don't even have to have alpha access, you don't even have to have the game Pixel Art Academy that this show is about. This is a free update that just happens in Retronator Headquarters. Retronator Headquarters is part of this meta game where you can learn about Pixel Art Academy and it also hosts all of my other kind of projects. Last month I was working on the art studio that you will find on the fourth floor. You can go directly there if you go to retronator.com slash art studio. Yes, art studio, there you go. There you will find my friend Alexandra. It's where me and her are working on our traditional art. So despite the name Pixel Art Academy, this is a game about learning art in general. There's a lot of common ground between this. Pixel art is just kind of one aesthetic. Most of the stuff you learn, all of the fundamentals are kind of shared across. So if you want to try other types of art, why would I stop you? A lot of content is geared toward pixel art. Like last time we saw working on video games is definitely going to be in that kind of style. But if you want to do drawing assignments with oil paints, why not? And that's what the art medium tutorial is here for. When you come to the art studio type, talk to Alexandra and you will get into a little interactive dialogue scene. It's kind of like a FAQ, frequently asked questions about art, about pixel art. Why is pixel art good? What is it better than traditional mediums? What are traditional mediums good for? What kind of techniques are there if you don't want to do pixel art? So when you ask Alexandra about different art mediums, the scene will change and you will see different parts of the art studio and she will point out examples of what she's talking about. For example, learning how to draw with pencils is definitely a skill anyone should have if you just want to do pixel art because it enables you to draw quick sketches without worrying about how you're gonna place pixels and jaggies and that kind of stuff. Just to get your ideas, the thumbnails, so when you're talking to Alexandra about pencils, you will see examples of sketches, both traditional, drawn with real pencils with graphite, and examples done with digital software. Or here how I drew this blueprint in on my iPad. Besides pencils, you can learn about pens, there are art markers, then we have charcoal, have pastels and all that different kind of similar things. These are all drawing mediums and of course then we also have painting. The main difference between drawing and painting is the kind of approach you're taking. With drawing you're mostly starting with outlines and then go into shading after that. Whereas with painting it's almost like sculpting. You're starting out in big shapes and then just kind of refining them down. And this, for example, translates directly into pixel art because people do pixel art from the drawing standpoint or from the painting standpoint. About half of the examples around the art studio are my own drawings because I try to do a lot of different styles myself. Others are from Alexandra and the rest, some mediums that we don't cover you will find guest artists that I'm super excited about. Super thanks to them to be part of this project. Neither me and Alexander do acrylics. So we have Octavio Navarro, which you know as Pixels Ha. He's been doing paintings before he started uh, Pixels Ha, the scenes. We have Jorge Monral. Then we have Maya Pixels Kaya. For digital art, I'm super happy to have Sylvain, also known as Toad. Then we have some works across all mediums from Gabriel Bricky. There's another pixel artist, Henry Resley. You will find his ink and marker drawings around the studio. 
The text of the tutorial is co-written with Alexander, so we both worked on it. And it's this small beginner's tutorial into different art mediums. I don't really like to make dialogues super lengthy, so right now it just goes into the main differences and advantages of different art mediums. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of what kind of other art you could also be doing or what kind of art styles are out there and then you can bring them into pixel art. And speaking of pixel art, if you go two floors down from the art studio, you will find yourself in the store where you will find my character or you can also just go to retronator.com store and you do talk to retro and then you can ask me about pixel art questions. What kind of input method you're gonna be using, like uh, is it gonna be a graphic tablet, like a Wacom, or a tablet computer, like an iPad Pro, and then all about the software. What kind of stuff do you wanna use? Do you wanna use some more generic stuff like Photoshop that can be also used for other kinds of art? Or do you wanna go with pixel art specific programs? What are those? There are some old school ones and there are the new school ones. What's the difference between pixel edit and AC Pride? Again, it's just short, concise answers to those kind of common questions when you're deciding what kind of software should I use for pixel art. That's it for this update. Like I said, this is all out now for everyone, public free tutorials. Just go to retronator.com slash art studio or slash store talk to the people there, enjoy the artworks, and uh, next time we'll have some more stuff from within the gameplay. All right, bye-bye, cheers.